Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today's quick clip math video, we're working on a word problem. So let's take a look at this. Mr. Perez has five and one fourth gallons of high octane race fuel for his motocross bike. If it takes his motorcycle one eighth of the fuel for each lap around the track, how many laps can Mr. Perez ride? Look at him going around this track. Well, let's reread this and pull out some key information. It says here, Mr. Perez has five and one fourth gallons. Okay, so that's what he has. And it takes his motorcycle, so one eight fuel for each lap. So we know that he's running his motorcycle around this track here, and it takes one eighth of all of this to go around the track. What we want to find is how many laps can Mr. Perez ride? That's that's the ultimate answer right there. So we're going to have to type something out to get this finished out or write it out if you're doing it in a test there. Now let's set up the problem. Okay, we have five and one fourth gallons, which we pulled out here, and we're dividing it by one eighth because that's how much fuel it takes to go around one lap. How do we work this out? Because this is a mixed number and this is just a regular fraction. Well we need to change this number into a improper fraction. So we have this improper fraction so we have 21 fourths now instead of 5 and 1 fourth and the way we got that is I multiplied 4 times 5 to make 20 and we added it to that 1 and so we have 21 fourths divided by 1 8. But can we really still do this? Well if you remember we're gonna keep, switch, and flip. As you can see, we kept this improper fraction, we switched the sign from division to multiplication, and we flipped this regular fraction here to another regular fraction. Well, it's actually an improper because we have that eight heavy there, but that's still considered just eight. Now, how do we figure this out? I can see a shortcut. I wanna simplify a little bit here because I know that four goes into itself once, and it goes into it eight two times. So now we just have one times one, and we don't need to write that down. We, well, you know, we, we can, let's just do that. So two times 21, well, two times one is two, and two times 20 is 40, which makes this 42, and it's over one, which is just equal to 42. Is that the answer that we're looking for? No, it says here, how many laps can Mr. Perez ride? So we actually have to write something out. There we go. I wrote out, Mr. Perez can ride 42 laps. And that answers that question right here. And if you look, I pulled out his name from here, Mr. Perez can ride laps. You know, it says how many laps, so 42 laps. And that's how many you can ride. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.